Mario is a short, pudgy, fictional Italian plumber in Nintendo's Mario video games franchise, created by Japanese video game designer Shigeru Miyamoto. Mario serves as Nintendo's mascot and has appeared in over 200 game titles. He first appeared in the arcade game Donkey Kong back in 1981, where he was originally known as Jumpman, but later renamed to the eponymous Mario. In the game, Mario must rescue a princess named Pauline from a giant ape named Donkey Kong by jumping up a series of platforms and climbing up ladders while dodging barrels and oil drums hurled by Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Jr. was released in 1982, where the roles of Mario and Donkey Kong were reversed. It's the only game where Mario has been portrayed as an antagonist. The game first appeared in arcades and throughout the 1980s was released on a variety of home platforms. In 1983, the first of the Mario Brothers games was released, titled Mario Bros, first published as an arcade game. Mario Brothers features two plumbers, Mario and Luigi, having to investigate the sewers of New York after strange creatures have been appearing down there. The game was only modestly successful in Japanese arcades, but was one of the original games on the Nintendo Entertainment System (NES) or the Japanese Famicom if you lived in Japan. In 1984, Mario made a couple of cameos in some other NES titles including Tennis, Pinball and Golf. Yes, that's Mario using that three wood. The titular Super Mario Brothers, released in 1985 for the Famicom in Japan and the NES in North America, was when the Mario game franchise became super interesting. The game is often cited as being one of the greatest video games of all time. The object of the game is for Mario, or his brother Luigi in the multiplayer mode, to race through the Mushroom Kingdom, survive Bowser's forces and rescue Princess Toadstool, later Princess Peach. The game features a number of different power-ups allowing Mario to grow in size or shoot fireballs from his hands. I played this game when I was young and have many fond memories. In the 1987 NES game Punch-Out, Mario makes a cameo appearance as the referee. Cool. In 1988, Super Mario Bros. 2 was released for the NES. A game with the same name was released in 1986 for the Famicom in Japan, also known as Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, but was notoriously difficult and was not released outside of Japan at that time. The 1988 version is a 2D side-scrolling platform game, which for the first time allowed players to also move vertically in certain levels. The objective of the game is to navigate the player's character through the Dream World subcon and defeat the main antagonist, Wart. Before each stage, the player chooses one of four different protagonists to use – Mario, Luigi, Toad or Princess Toadstool. Mario, who can jump further than anyone else, Luigi, who can jump the highest, Toad, who can pick up items quickly and Princess Toadstool, who can float. The characters could pluck vegetables from the ground and hurl them at the enemy. The game was a commercial success and was the fourth highest selling game ever released on the NES. Super Mario Bros. 3, released originally in Japan in 1988 but in North America in 1990, allowed the player to control either Mario or Luigi, who as expected must save Princess Toadstool and the rulers of seven different kingdoms from the antagonist Bowser. In addition to running and jumping found in the past games, the player can also slide down slopes, pick up and throw special blocks and freely climb vines. There are also power-ups that allow Mario to float, fly and temporarily turn to stone to avoid enemies. The game is credited for popularising the use of overworld maps in the Mario series. Dr. Mario is a 1990 action puzzle video game where Mario dressed up as a doctor, tosses coloured medicine capsules into a medicine bottle populated by viruses of three different colours – red, yellow and blue. In a manner and style similar to Tetris, the player must match colours by moving the medicine and destroying the viruses. It received fairly mediocre reviews and was criticised by some parent groups for containing depictions of medicine. Super Mario World was the next big breakthrough in Mario's evolution. Released in Japan in 1990 for the Super Famicom, that is the Super NES for Western audiences, the game was the first in the Mario series to introduce Yoshi, a dinosaur companion Mario can ride who is able to eat most enemies. He can keep an enemy shell in his mouth for a short time and then spit it out to destroy other enemies. 
plot involves Mario, Luigi and Yoshi setting out to save Princess Toad's store from the evil Bowser through a place known as Dinosaur Land. The game features a new power-up known as the Cape Feather, which gives Mario a cape and the ability to fly, glide and use the cape as a sail. The game also introduces the ability to store an extra power-up in a box at the top centre of the screen, which can be used at a later time. Super Mario World is a classic. It is the best-selling Super Nintendo game of all time, with a record 20 million plus sales. It was highly praised by reviewers with an average score of 94% on game rankings. I played this game a lot, and it was one of my favourites. In 1992, the classic Super Mario Kart was released. It went on to become the fourth best-selling Super Nintendo game of all time. The player takes control of one of eight Mario series characters, each with different capabilities. It's an awesome game that features advanced manoeuvres such as power sliding and hopping. There's a strong focus on multiplayer mode where players can race against each other, or face off each other in battle mode where the goal is to pop each other's balloons. The game received critical acclaim with an aggregate score of 93.6% on game rankings and was the go-to game in my house when friends came over. Hours and hours of fun were had. The 1992 game Mario Paint came packaged with the Super NES Mouse. It allowed the user to create drawings as well as basic looping animations set to music. They could be recorded from the TV to a video cassette recorder. Despite not being very popular, the game was highly praised for being perhaps the most ingenious and inspired idea Nintendo ever came up with for a product. Super Mario World 2 – Yoshi's Island was released in 1995. You play the role of Yoshi who carries around baby Mario on his back with the goal of rescuing baby Luigi who was kidnapped by a Magikoopa. The game has a hand-drawn aesthetic and is the first to have Yoshi as its main character. It centres more on puzzle solving and item collecting than other platformers, with hidden flowers and red coins to find. The game introduces Yoshi's signature abilities to flutter jump and produce eggs from swallowed enemies. The game was received well. Critics praised the art, sound, level design and gameplay of Yoshi's Island and said it was a masterpiece of its time and one of the best platformers ever made. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars was the first role-playing game in the Mario franchise, released in 1996 for the Super NES. There are two main sections to the game, adventuring and turn-based battle sequences. The main protagonist, of course, is Mario, whose initial goal is to rescue Princess Toadstool from Bowser, but then the story takes an unusual twist. A group called the Smithy Gang invades the world with aspirations of world domination. Consequently, Bowser ends up joining forces with Mario and the rest of the protagonists. Ultimately, the player will gain a party of five characters with each having their own unique set of attacks and techniques. For example, Princess Toadstool's abilities are primarily healing techniques, whereas Bowser has offensive attacks that deal high amounts of damage. The game received positive reviews with an aggregate score of 89%. Also in 1996, Super Mario 64 was released for the Nintendo 64 and was the first game in the series to feature 3D gameplay. The player controls Mario through a number of courses which are their own enclosed world. There are no time limits and the player is free to explore the world in any direction they choose. The goal, surprise surprise, is to save Princess Peach from the evil Bowser. It's also no surprise that it's the best-selling game for the N64 and is considered to be one of the greatest video games of all time. Mario Kart 64 was also released in 1996, also featuring true 3D graphics. It supported four-player multiplayer mode and allowed the player to choose from one of eight characters, with two of the originals being replaced with Wario and Donkey Kong. The game received somewhat mediocre reviews, with some arguing that it was basically the same game as the original Super Mario Kart, except with new courses. The gameplay was also considered to be a bit too easy and lacked depth. Anyway, there are the list of Mario games that I've played. I basically stopped playing console games back in 1996 or 1997. Other notable Mario games from that point onwards, one for each year, include 1998's Mario Golf for the N64, 1999's Donkey Kong 64, Mario Tennis from 2000, 2001's Luigi's Mansion for the Nintendo GameCube, 2002's Super Mario Sunshine, 2003's Mario Kart Double Dash, 2004's Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, another Mario role-playing game, 2005's Mario Kart DS for the handheld Nintendo DS, 
2006's New Super Mario Brothers, also on the DS, 2007's highly acclaimed Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo Wii, 2008's Mario Kart Wii, the highly praised RPG Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story from 2009 for the Nintendo DS, also receiving universal acclaim, 2010's Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the Nintendo Wii, 2011's Super Mario 3D Land for the Nintendo 3DS, which has been cited as being easily the best reason to own a 3DS, 2012's New Super Mario Bros. U for the Wii U, 2013's Super Mario 3D World, also for the Wii U, 2014's Mario Kart 8, famous for spawning an internet meme titled Luigi's Death Stare, which describes the automatic facial expression displayed by Luigi toward other characters upon attacking or passing them during a race, 2015's Super Mario Maker, a well-regarded game creation system for the Wii U, 2016's Super Mario Run for iOS and Android, one of the few instances that a game in the Mario series was officially released on non-Nintendo hardware, 2017's universally acclaimed Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch, the 2018 Switch game Mario Tennis Aces, thought to be one of the better games in the Mario Tennis franchise, and finally 2019's New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, which is basically just an updated version of the 2012 Wii U game for the Nintendo Switch, running at a higher resolution and featuring a couple of new characters. As you can probably tell, there are lots and lots of Mario games. I've only mentioned a small percentage of them here, so apologies if I've missed your favourite game. Looking at the top 5 games of all time on GameRankings.com, we can see that all of them are Nintendo games, and 3 of those are Mario games. One thing that we know for sure, Mario has proven to be a winning formula for Nintendo, so we'll not be going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs>